How far did you go in a game of truth or dare? Made out with a girl for the first time in 7th grade. Made out with others, but obviously the first time was the most eventful. Especially because I was a total dork and she pulled me in, later saying she thought I'd appreciate it. Which I goddamn did. What a patriot. Kate was a college girl in a middle schooler's body. I ate five spoonfuls of mustard, fit 16 grapes in my mouth, and chugged half a liter of coke. One time a girl was dared to kiss me, her quote was I thought we weren't doing kissing, to which I said why eh, so, I've gone as far as to cock block myself. I jumped 20 stairs almost 3 meters height I think. I was stupid I tore a ligament in knee. I was sitting with my girlfriend next to me, and received the dare kiss the person next to you. I made eye contact with her, smiled, and leaned in. As soon as I saw her close her eyes, I whipped around to my right, grabbed my friend's jaw, and kissed him square on the lips. Oh she was mad but oh was it worth it. It was a sleepover with two boys and three girls at this girl's house. I was one of the lucky guys. We were playing truth or dare, and our clothes were coming off piece by piece. I got dared to wear a leapboard bra from the girl of the house's dresser. Right as I put it on and start dancing around like a silly idiot her mom walks in, and I get sent home. Edit, we were about 14 to 15 so it all was pretty exciting. As a dare, I got my ear pierced by a friend using a needle. Seemed funny at the time, but the next few days where it was leaking yellow pus, and my entire ear was red were a little less funny. I think I got the good side of your evil story. One overly punk night in my dorms my friends and I pierced things on ourselves with clothespins that we sterilized in vodka and lighter flame. I pierced both my ears, and they worked out fine for a few months. I eventually stopped wearing them because they were all catawampus. My friend pierced his nose though, and that turned out pretty much like your ear did. As a kid my cousin always beat the shit out of me and was a terror. One day she dared me to go to the very top of the roof, and I'm not sure if she asked me to jump off or stand on the edge. I do not want to exaggerate, so I'll assume stand. I did, with my toes being in the air, and the rest of my feet on the edge of the roof. I was 10 years old, and that was the first time I felt suicidal, despite having been generally happy and well at the time. I was never dared to do anything particularly crazy, mostly because I was usually the innocent one, but a girl was once dared to kiss me on the lips. The darer was okay with a peck, and she said that since it isn't in a sexual context, there's nothing weird about it. I wasn't really paying attention and suddenly this girl pops up and kisses me, her lips were uncomfortably moist, and then goes back to sitting like nothing happened. I have to be honest, that was probably the worst kiss I've experienced. I had my pants down to my ankles with my underwear pulled down to expose my cheeks and had to waddle for two blocks whilst having my shirt pulled behind my head and pinching my nipples. Not far. I typically bowed out whenever the dares or truths became just dangerous or hurtful. I never liked truth or dare because people aren't creative enough and instead just go for the shock factor. I played this a lot ate an entire watermelon, ate stick of butter, I female, wore men's underwear and put a sock into it like it's a dick then say stuff in a gruff manly voice, someone else was dared to bite my ear sexily and ended up tearing part of it off, body shots, but using maple syrup, masturbates in front of a group while fully clothed. It wasn't me, but on the way to a track meet in 8th grade, my friend and I were sitting in the seats about 3 rows from the back of the bus. Almost all of the guys on the team were behind us, small school, small team. I don't know if it was a dare or what, but I heard them saying something about getting hard, and when I looked over at my friend I saw one dude jerking off out of the corner of my eye. I tried to go across the road to my friend's seat so I didn't have to see that to talk to her, and I was yelled at by one of the coaches to go back to my seat. These guys would also occasionally sit kinda close to the front, and one would play porn and hold their phone out in the middle of the aisle for the rest to see. I haven't been in track since. I was playing a game a little bit similar to Todd called King's Game, 
if you want rules just look it up I'm not explaining them, and at this point it was just me and two other people, one girl, two guys, I was one of the guys, and it was basically watered down to the other guy trying to get the girl to do lewd acts with him like lap dancing, touching his crotch, and even have her flash him, the two were dating, so I guess it was okay. Most likely not in my opinion, and it was just weird. My friends invite me to a party that they were hosting. They were play truth or dare. It got out of hand when I of us got dared to run on one side of the roof to the other side. My friend fell for the house and broke a arm. We did not play truth or dare again. I was at a sleepover with a few friends, four guys and three girls. My friend's house has a huge yard, like seven acres or something, so we set up two tents in the back. We started playing truth or dare, as you do at a sleepover, and then a raccoon showed up. I was dared to pet the raccoon. I did it. It bit me. What a surprise right. Hurt like a bitch.